Okay, this video, I'm gonna cover the replacement of a regulator inside of a hairpin alternator. This is a standard two pin GM regulator. And I'm actually having to do a full rebuild on this one. The, uh, the stator in this one shot, but I figured I'd take the opportunity while I had this one here took apart, show how to replace the regulator. So, you don't have to strip it down this far. Uh, you could actually just have the entire alternator sitting right here. You'll have three bolts or three nuts on the back of these studs. That's these three right here. Once you remove those, this will come off and it'll expose your rectifier, brush holder, and the regulator. So what you'll wanna do, there'll be two screws right here I've already removed everything on this one, but those two screws will be like this. Uh, this one in particular had Torx bits or uh, Torx screws. Uh, I've seen Phillips, Allen's, and Torx depending on who put them together. So uh, you'll remove this, and set it over, and that frees up the back terminal on this. You have two more screws here, kind of like the other set. I think this is the this is the two that came out of the regulator. And you'll see there is a terminal right here that is soldered in. I've already desoldered it, but what all you'll do is you'll take your take your iron, and you get it down there real close, right on top of it. And once you see the solder go liquid, you will just start wiggling the terminal back and forth and it'll come off uh you may have to fight with that solder a little bit to get it to loosen up enough and if it's a factory unit uh more than likely that's going to be welded onto it and you may have to clip it so now that that's removed we're gonna put this four pin gm regulator in so back in the same spot fight with this pin just a little bit all right so you're back in place you'll put these two screws back and then once I, this is all squared up to where it needs to be with the screws in line you'll what i like to do is take a pair of lineman pliers and squeeze that little u right there tight and then solder it. And to solder it, all you're gonna do is take your iron, make sure both pieces get good and hot, and just feed your solder in. Make sure that the solder is going into the joint. You don't wanna have a cold joint right there because that's what actually controls your voltage and your and the whole alternator to the field. So once that's there, you'll see that this brush holder, I don't think it really got a whole lot of wear on it before the what looked to be a 220 amp stator had fried in it. Um, those brushes, when this is fully assembled, I'm just kind of mocking it up here. You'll have that sticking through and those brushes are going to ride on these collector rings. So those brushes have to be pushed back in and you'll see a little hanger, a little loop right there. There's one right here in the back. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with one hand. What I usually do is push them back with my pinky. Not going to be able to do it with one hand, so. To take that smallest Allen in the pack. Uh, I'm not really sure if that's a 16th or what it was, but it'll fit right through and hold those in place. So that gives you a holder for it. You set that back down, get your other two screws tightened in, and then uh, pull this back out. 
when you pull this back out of there, the brushes will snap back in place on top of the, uh, the slip ring here. And uh, next step would be to set this back on, put your three bolts back in it, and you're ready to rock.